Hi, I'm Jane M. Mason from Watching Paint Dry, LLC. And in this mini demo, we're gonna talk about flat washes. And a flat wash is where you've applied a single color over a large surface area. Flat washes are notoriously difficult and there's not a lot of opportunities to use them. It is a good skill to perfect though because it allows you to practice a steady hand and an even back and forth as you're applying the paint. This is an example of a flat wash. Now, you'll see I actually flubbed it in the corner, so it's not a perfect flat wash. But this is a flat wash where overall, most of the tone, the color, the hue, it's all the same throughout the entire block of the wash. On this one, you'll see, I actually went a little faster, so it's a little streaky. This is a problem with a flat wash. But one of the things I wanted to demonstrate, too, for you, is to show you that I've applied an iridescent medium on this side, so it's kind of sparkly. You can see how the iridescent medium actually changes the color a little bit, and you can see it even shows up on white paper. I might use iridescent medium if I'm painting snow, or if I'm painting sparkly water, or even if I'm working with kids' art sometimes. You have to be very careful with it, though, so it doesn't contaminate your water. Use a separate water container and use separate brushes. It's not gonna harm your brushes, but you don't wanna get sparkly stuff on your primary palette or on your primary brushes because then for paintings afterwards you will have sparkly things happening when you might not want them to be happening. So that shows you a flat wash and a flat wash with an iridescent medium. The next thing I'm going to show you is a graded wash and a graded wash is the same concept. It's supposed to have an all over even feeling where you can't see any of the brush strokes and in a graded wash you start with a color and then it keeps getting lighter and lighter. A graded wash does have some value. If you wanted to do as you can kind of imagine this is potentially a sky, a graded wash is a nice thing to use at a sky and as you take the paint then you keep adding more water on every stroke so it becomes a graded wash. The other wash that uses the same technique is two graded washes on top of each other. And I'll show you an example of that. We have a graded wash that is a blue and then it gets very, very, very light. And then I turn the page upside down and then it's a pink that goes and gets very, very light. So these two washes together, again, can give you a beautiful sky. So a graded wash has some practicality. If you were to paint these with a blue and a red or a pink together, since those are two primary colors, you could get a purple in the middle or you could get something that's kind of not the color you anticipated. By doing two graded washes, one with the paper going down and then the next one also with the paper turned around but the paper going down, it allows you to have the first wash completely dry when I say completely dry, I usually wait 24 hours, and then you apply the second wash. So those are graded washes, and I'm going to show you the a flat wash so you can see how you would attempt to do that. I'm using my little arches pad here, which just means that the paper is padded onto a hard background, a hard cardboard, and it just makes it easier to maneuver because I can just hold it in my hand. I've drawn a bunch of lines here. You could go to any of the lines depending on how big you wanted your graded wash. For this demo, I'm going to use the smallest rectangle here to do my graded wash. When you start your wash, it's best, in my opinion, to pick one pure pigment, so one paint. Don't mix paints, particularly when you're practicing. So I have taken a magenta here, and the brush that I'm using is an Issa B brush, a very uh, wonderful, expensive brush. You can use a, whatever brush you have, but it's best to have a round brush, and I'll show you a round brush. Um, it has a full, this is called the belly of the brush. The, the belly of the brush is gonna hold a lot of paint, and um, it comes to a nice tip so that as you're painting, and you'll see when I demonstrate this, you can make some sharp turns. Even though it's a rounded brush with a point, you can make some sharp turns. So I've just made a puddle of the magenta here. Now while I'm talking, it's gotten a little bit too thick. I want it pretty thin. So I'm going to just dip in and grab some water. I'm adding water to this, almost using my brush like a spoon to just grab water. Now I'm going to mix all this around. I need quite a bit of paint and I don't want to run out. So 
a flat wash is done on dry paper. Normally I hold the paper at about a 30 to 45 degree angle. To me that seems that it works out best. I have a lot of paint in my brush. It's very drippy. That's what you want. You want a lot of paint. And you start, you make your edge, and then you come back. Again, it's important to have it be at an angle. You come back, and sometimes you can go across and back, sometimes you can't. Now you can see that the bottom row has a ton of paint in it. That's okay. As long as it's not going to be dripping, it's going to be okay. I'm finding out though that I can go over and back. I'm going to turn it back to me so I can paint a little bit more evenly here. Over and then back. And then grab some more paint. Over and then back and grab some more paint. I missed a tiny spot. This could be a big problem. If I try to fill it in, it could leave a big blob there, which it might. You want to have everything very wet while you're working on it. Now at the bottom, actually this worked out pretty well. Sometimes you end up with a really big um, amount of paint here at the bottom. This is not very much. So I'm going to take a small brush, and you really want to do this with a brush, not with a paper towel or anything. Take a small brush and just run across the bottom. This was a dry brush, and I'm just picking up the paint. So I'm not adding paint, I'm picking it up. And that's how you do a flat wash. So have fun with flat washes, graded washes, and the double graded wash, which does give you a great sky. That's it for flat washes. Thank you. I'm Jane M. Mason.